What is up guys, this, this is the Desert Lad, and I'm doing a review over Valerian. Oh god. Valerian, and, well, I was disappointed. I was super disappointed in this movie, because, it's a backstory. I was, I didn't know anything about Valerian, and then my stepdad and some other people mentioned it, that it's a new sci-fi movie, and I instantly, sci-fi buzzword, prompted me to be interested in it, because sci-fi is my favorite genre. It's not until I started doing research and a little bit of backstory and the, the con confirmation by film theory that made me realize what Valerian is. Valerian is based on a comic that came out in the early 60s that, before any other popular sci-fi uh, sci movies, Star Wars, Star Trek, Doctor Who, Matrix, you name it, that came after the 60s, has taken so many elements of Valerian that, oh my gosh, this is, Valerian is kind of the movie or the granddad of the sci-fi genre today. So, I got pumped seeing a comic that was hugely popper, popular that many, many properties after it have taken elements from, I thought, oh my gosh, let's see this big sci-fi movie based on a popular comic. Show us what we got. And it flopped. It's, um, it was disappointing. Because for one thing, the good thing about it is the visuals. It visually looks breathtaking. The CGI in 2017 is amazing. I mean, it's a very pretty, pretty movie. And you're not going to have a dull visual moment. You're going to watch it like you're immersed in the world. And that's what it looked like the director and the writer wanted us to do. It focused too much on the backdrop, it focused too much on the world building, that the story and characters suffered. And they suffered badly. Like, the two main leads, Valerian and Lauren, they, th their relationship, it reminded me of the Star Wars prequels. Like, everything is explained, they mention things that are off camera, that was before the movie, and they also explain things about characters that you don't really get to see. You don't get to experience. And it kind of falls flat in your face. That you can't believe that he's the best in the whole government that they talked about. And it's like... Hmm? That you kind of didn't care about the two main leads and it's a mixture of poor script writing with a mixture of possibly because the whole movie was filmed for a blue screen and green screen that did it but still the chemistry between these two are not where they needed to be and the second thing was the plot it took 40 minutes of runtime since the beginning of the movie to win the plot in the uh, and the problem actually starts because you get you get the whole you get the whole beginning and then you get this huge chase scene which is probably 30 minutes this whole 30 minute part where Larry and Lauren are on a mission and then story and it fell flat on its face and there were and there were scenes and things that you that you put that they put into it and characters that you're just you're like oh, okay let's keep going and then after those scenes happen it like no joke it jumps to the plot again to finish the movie and one of the biggest scenes that threw me off was Rihanna's character I don't like Rihanna as a person I don't like her music I think she's a bad influence but when I saw this with my sisters not only did they cheer on Rihanna, but her scenes are so cringeworthy 
and so bad if you don't like her as a person or in a lot of people's cases who want to see a good narrative movie. Her, her character is necessary because of blank, but that's it. You can, re you can replace her reason for being there with something else and the plot could have actually gone faster because they spent so much time on Rihanna's character that you're like, keep going, I want the story. In the end, this movie is breathtakingly beautiful. The world is absolutely amazing to the point that, like, you, I want to see more of this world. This world that Valerian and Lauren live in, that they interact with. I want to see them interact with it. But in order to do that, if this does get a sequel, is it needs better, it needs better human chemistry between the main two leads and, of course, everyone else, along with a better story. Because of that, I have to give the review, and because of that, I have to give the score, on an entertaining level, a dead B. Because it's entertaining. It's, it's a very entertaining movie, but when it comes to the artistic level, a C. I was going to give it a C-, minus, but I kind of bumped it because it's a CGI. So be on entertaining because to me I was entertained. My stepdad said he was not entertained, that he actually wanted to walk out. So be with a little bit of a eh there, but definitely, definitely a C on artistic level because the story didn't change. There was nothing hidden in me. It was a bland story that wasn't really introduced until 40 minutes after the movie that you are kind of left going, huh? there's my review of Valerian. <sighs> yeah, I'm going to be reviewing Dunkirk pretty soon because I'm going to go watch that and I'm super excited. Hopefully that's not as disappointing as Valerian was. Anyway guys, at, as always, you were the audience, I was Desolat and enjoy the show. Did you notice I have a Star Wars shirt on? Because Valerian came out before Star Wars, but highly influenced it, that's, that's why I chose the shirt. And also, the Millennium Falcon looks a lot like their ship. Damn it, George Lucas.